Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement. So, so far we have discussed about various uh, performance parameters or performance characteristics of measurement systems, uh, static performance parameters. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another uh, important parameter, important characteristic associated with measurement or the process of measurement which is range of doubt or possible error now if you remember we have uh, discussed about accuracy precision repeatability reproducibility so before watching this video i want you to please watch all the previous videos related to you know the performance parameters which we have discussed especially accuracy precision repeatability and reproducibility so all of these parameters they are related with how accurately or correctly we can measure the true value of a reading a parameter the measurement parameter and how consistently can we do that okay so how accurately or close to the true value we can get that is accuracy and how consistently we can do that that is precision so range of doubt or possible error that is uh, that involves a little bit of uh, you know the average system the average technique is used is that when we get a reading of a particular parameter be it voltage current force pressure whatever we are measuring normally what we do is that we take a lot of readings 5 readings or 10 readings or 15 readings or 20 readings 30 readings like that and then we take the average okay the mean of those readings and that gives us a you know more or less uh, close to the accurate value the true value of the measurement reading so here arithmetic mean or average comes into play where the most probable value of the parameter which we are trying to measure is simply the average of the number of readings which is taken suppose we have taken uh, n readings n measurements of a particular reading then what we do is simply we take the average of that so after taking the average normally uh, the reading is measured or it is expressed uh, something like this okay uh, okay let's say we call it uh, x plus minus y something like that okay so what it basically means is that suppose we say that we have a reading something like 22.6 plus minus 0 0.05 okay so when we only write 22.6 let's say in that case we actually mean is that the reading the reading which which we have taken it is close to 22.6 as compared to 22.5 or 22.7 but sometimes it is uh, better to express it within a specific range within which the measured parameter lies so here by writing it in this way we mean that the reading or the parameter it lies in between 22.6 minus 0.05 and 22.6 plus 0.05 that is 22.55 and 22.65 in between these two values our reading lies the true value lies 
So how do we get this plus minus thing, this plus minus y? How can we get that? So let us try to understand that with the help of a particular example. Let us say we are measuring a particular parameter and we have got the following readings, let's say. First one is, let's say, 10.03. Then we have 10.10. Then we have 10.11. Then 10.08. Okay, four readings. Let us not, uh, you know, unnecessarily complicate the whole thing. So first we'll take the average of these four readings, the mean. So this is 0, 3, 10.10, divided by 4. Okay, so that we got as, let us do some calculations. Okay, I'm using a calculator. So it is coming 10.08 uh, units, whatever it is. Now, this is the mean, this is the average, okay, of the readings, whatever parameter we are measuring. So here, now we have to figure out the maximum of these input readings and the minimum okay so the maximum here is 10.11 unit and the minimum is 10.03 okay so now we have the maximum the minimum and the average now let us calculate how much the maximum value you know the difference between the maximum value and the average value so maximum reading minus the average reading which is 10.11 minus 10.08 which is equal to 0 0.03 units then we'll find the separation or the gap between the average and the minimum reading i average minus i min which is 10.08 minus 10.03 which is equal to 0 0.05 units so we have got this and we have got this so here the average error or deviation this plus minus thing which we are talking about here this plus minus y or this plus minus thing that we can calculate as the average of these two the maximum deviation from the maximum reading and the average and then the separation between the minimum and the average reading so simply 0 0.03 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2 okay which is 0 0.08 by 2 which is 0 0.04 so the average error range is plus minus 0 0.04 taken from the average value the mean value okay so this is the fluctuation range okay this so this is how we get that so normally all the time you will have the uh, measurement reading expressed in terms of this where we say that the true value or the correct value lies in between one of these two extreme points determined by this plus minus value okay so this is called as the range of error or uh, the range of doubt or possible error in measurement okay so here we just discussed that 
सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल फॉर मोर सच वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू इंजीनियरिंग साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हैव ए ग्रेट डे थैंक यू वेरी मच